Greetings viewers and welcome to today's info sharing session. We will be covering the Sage 200 Evolution price update batches feature. Now this feature allows you to update the setting price of a range of stock items at a certain point in time via a batch. Let's just see exactly how this process works. Before we begin processing a batch, we need to check a couple of options under our inventory defaults. So under inventory maintenance, I'm going to go to my inventory defaults. And within there, we have a price update batches tab. There we're able to specify automatic numbering for our price batches, update batches as well as automatic numbering for the referencing or the reference numbers of within the batches. So specify the details there. And once you've completed that information, you can then go ahead and open up or process an update batch. So update the information. And we're then going to revert into a couple of information details on our stock items. Right, so let's just go through to inventory, maintenance, inventory items. So today we're going to be focusing on just these three items, which belong to a certain group. And if they are one of the items, uh, in this case, they are non-warehouse items, under the pricing tab, I have specified the price list, the costing method, and I've got the specified an exclusive price and an inclusive price, et cetera. Right, so on the screen here, I've just added the exclusive price and inclusive price onto my grid. And I've got the three items we're gonna be using when we process our update batch. So I'm then going to go to inventory, transactions and I have the option to make use of a price update batch. Open up a new batch and what we have there is we've got our batch number which has been auto incremented, a batch description and there's a couple of default options we can make use of. For example, update type, we can update the exclusive price inclusive price, a markup cost percentage, a gross margin percentage, exclusive price percentage, as well as inclusive price percentage. Under action, we can set a specific selling price. We can add from an existing price or subtract from existing price. And then under rounding, we can specify to make use of rounding. And if you are going to be using rounding, we can round up the inclusive price and the exclusive price or round down the inclusive price or exclusive price. And then rounding, we can round to the nearest certain value and specify those details there. We then also specify which prices you want to update as well as a range of items based on a from and to selection. And then also specify the groups that are applicable as well as the warehouses. So in this particular batch, I'm just going to update a specific inventory group. And I've specified my group and all the information and the filter details have been specified. And I'm now going to go and open up the batch. So the details here are simply the items based on my filter selection. It's got the price list information or the price list details, the current exclusive and inclusive price. And then I've got details I would then need to set up or insert the relevant new price that I'm going to update it to. Right, so I'm just going to insert the new prices there for these three items. Right, so what you notice here is that although the update action has come from my filter selection, I can still go and make changes there and modify certain line items and modify them, for example, the update action, um, as well as the update type, etc. So I can certainly make changes 
within the batch lines once the batch has been opened. I'm just going to validate the batch and write all in order there. And then I would then just go post the batch and then these prices would then be updated on the individual items. Before we do that, let's just take a couple of options which are available. So under the batch option, we have the ability to export the batch. So I could export the batch into a CSV format and I could then go and capture details on the exported files. So the perfect scenario would be is that perhaps you're intending to increase your selling price at the end of the month. You can then at any point generate your batch with all the relevant stock items, warehouses, prices, et cetera. Export that batch into a CSV format and then at some point go and insert your new prices, your new selling prices. And then when that price, when the price or the new price become effective, simply go and import the batch with your new prices and then go update the batch so that those new selling prices um, become available. So it's a case of you are able to go and generate or set up a setting price batch before the actual batch, uh, before the new selling prices come into effect. But then under line, we've just got the ability to make use of copy down, for example, the copy down um, update types, update actions, etc., and with details about the shortcut keys you can make use of. So in this instance, I've then gone to go and insert my new setting prices. The batch has been validated and I can simply go and post the batch. We then have a printout of the batch with details about stock items and also the original price as well as what the new price is going to be. So always good to make a printout or keep a record of this batch so that you can obviously revert back and see exactly uh, what the selling price was prior to the batch being updated, etc. Right, so close the print preview after the print has been done and the batch has now been successfully posted and updated. If we then revert back to our inventory items, I'm just going to uh, refresh the screen. Right, and as you can see, this exclusive and inclusive price has now been updated based on information from our batches. Right, so quick and easy to perform. Let's just go back to our price update batches. And if I open up a new batch, you'll see that there's an option for batch scheduling. This process works in conjunction with the job manager where I can go schedule a batch to be updated at a certain date and time. So I'm going to use, specify that this is a scheduling batch. And once again, I'm going to specify an item group to be updated, all of the items in that specific group, and insert any relevant filter details that you require. And I've then got my batch. So at this particular point, I would then go and once again, go and insert the new prices. And I'm then going to validate and just save the batch. Okay. What you notice is that the post batch feature is grayed out simply because we're going to update this batch via the job manager module. Right, so I'm going to go close the batch. And we know it's a uh, price update batch number 11. I'm then going to revert back to my common and go to job manager. I'm then going to add a new job because it's a job that I want to schedule at some point and I'm going to specify that the job type is a batch. So specify batch as the feature. Okay. And just give it a name. Okay. 
right okay and it tells me that the top is going to be a price update batch and there we go so i've got my details there and i can obviously at some at uh, when the batch is completed i can then email certain individuals etc certain agents within the organization under my price update batch on the drop down i then have the batch number available as i've marked it as a batch schedule and i can then go to my price update batch and I've got the job details or the job name there, and I'm now able to go and schedule this particular batch to be updated. So under my scheduler, I'm going to say it's a one time only, as it's applicable to one particular batch or one particular price update. And now I can simply go specify a time and a date. So I can say, for example, at, um, right there we go and I specify the time and the date and I would then continue and it would then go and create the batch scheduler and then the relevant date and time update the batch. So once again, a perfect example is that perhaps if you're in a retail environment, um, you intend to update your price at a certain point, you can then carry on working, um, prepare this batch and the batch scheduler beforehand and then obviously, um, on the next day's trading, just before the trading begins, you can have the batch being updated and obviously update your selling price of the items. And once the trading begins, the new selling price will obviously come into effect. So I can use this feature to schedule batches. Once again, the important thing is simply to ensure that when you create the batch that you mark it as a batch schedule. So once again, it tells me that this is the time and the date when the particular uh, batch is scheduled to run and it will then run update my relevant selling prices and those prices then become effective. So as you can see, um, the price update feature is a very useful way in order for you to update your selling prices on a global scale or for certain items and then even in a batch format and then taking it a step further is using the batch schedule option where you can schedule a batch to run with your information at a predetermined date and time. That's all for today. Thank you for tuning in. It's over and out for me, and goodbye.